Hello Sagittarius, my Sag people. Welcome on my channel, People to Tarot. I'm going to do your October bonus reading. Who is coming towards you in love? What are they bringing? What's going to happen next between you and this person? This is someone new or someone that you know or whatever. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. This is not for you. Um, you can get a personal reading from me. If you want it, check out the description box. For all the detail, join me on Instagram for more fun. And also, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Sagittarius. Whatever astrology you follow. So, according to that, please follow your sign. So, let's see who is coming and what are they bringing in your life. Energy could be vice versa, definitely, but I'm picking up the energies of Sag. So, no offense. It's a general reading. So, we have Eight of Wheels. And we have the six of wheels, all these pentacles, earth sign maybe. Okay, this is someone that three of swords. Five of swords, knight of cups. Page of cups. Okay, we have the Two of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, there's a two people involved in you, coming towards you, I would say. Justice. Okay, and bottom of the deck, Page of Wheels, all these pages. So you maybe have a three child with this person, three children, two babies, three babies with this person. Mmm... Someone wants to speak up if they were not speaking up, okay? Uh, some of you, you have, you know, baby with this person, you have a children with this person, um, okay? And yeah, it's like a justice and six of wheels, like you're married with this person. This could be your marriage partner, okay? Like some type of contract that you had with this person. Does not have to be. For some of you, it's a business deal, like you have a business contract with this person, okay? Or they want to you know, do some deal with you. Okay, so this is someone who maybe wants a contract with you, like uh, some type of business contract or something, or you're going through already with this person. I'm seeing, okay, I have to say the signs here. I'm seeing Libra. I'm seeing Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, another Sagittarius maybe. Uh, maybe Leo and Taurus, I said that, Scorpio, Aquarius and uh, cancer and from earth sign it could be any earth sign to be honest like i'm picking up earth here um you could be teenagers you could be same age or same gender sex for some of you um, but i'm seeing that there's a two people's coming in your way one is a water sign one is a fire one has emotions and one has a passion for you so yeah i'm seeing knight of cups these two are this is like an offer for me like these two people want to offer you love and passion and you have to decide and choose between two peoples or maybe you are already you know dealing with these two peoples and you're indecisive two of swords on the crossroad that who is the best choice for you who is the right person for you because i feel one person is here with the three of swords and five of swords two of swords is the one who always you know um, left you in this cold energy and heart break your heart and you know n uh, very confused energy with this person you you have a very conflicted relationship with this person and you want a justice yeah like you need to make a decision that is right and fair for you because this person is coming back again okay and this is maybe someone that you right now in a no, no contact with you are definitely no talking to there is definitely separation here because of the reason is that you both are not on the same page. This is someone who just want to win it at any cost. Like they don't care about how you feel. They may be more analytical. They may be more logical. They may be more uh, practical rather than emotional. So this is someone who is emotionally not mature, I would say. So this is someone that you're dealing with already. And this person really want to come back reunion or they want to apologize and want to start again. 
so this is that person is coming but i'm also getting that there is someone new that is looking at you and want a passion with you because i'm seeing with the wheel of fortune here one is this dark energy and you're already in this dark energy right look at this look at the cards um, direction so this is like you're already in this dark energy you're dealing with it you're definitely going through this situation this pain or maybe deception from this person like they're not showing you how do they feel they don't they're not telling you their intentions and you maybe feel like some type of karma or some type of soul contract with this person that you need to let it go but it it's, it looks like a more attachment for me and there is another side here like this this red this this the wheel of fortune like things are changing and this is the new change in your life this is someone new that brand new this colors and this 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 passion from the other side of the wheel this is someone new so uh, i definitely feel there's a two people's here one is that you're currently dealing with you have been dealing with for a long time or you're in separation with and there is other person who wants to be with you who's looking at you who is waiting for you or maybe they're they want to start a new beginning with you so you have to make a decision that is right for you uh, because i'm seeing with the knight of cups this offer is coming from this person and this person too page of cups um and page of wands so you have to decide that maybe I feel this Knight of Cups, this person that you maybe have emotions for, but the other person that is coming, it could be possible that they have a lot of passion. They have a lot of compassion to give you and to share with you a lot of things. They're maybe here to bring this passion back into your life because you just rule by the passion and, you know, adventure and everything all. And this is that person that can give you. Um, we have the air of wheels, so you will work together. You will have a start dating together. Okay. Uh, some of you, this is your work-related situation that you guys are working together, business deals or business partnership or, you know, some type of office scenes or romance for some of you. Um, whoever this new person is. I'm also getting the six of wheels like some of you, you are the baby mama watching this video already. You are a single mom. Um, or you have a baby with this person that you're currently dealing with, okay? Like, um, you are the parents and you always patch up or match up together because of this baby okay like some type of attachment that you had with this person i could be married i don't know this could be your ex-husband coming back to you again and again because of the child and baby and you just let them in because you have a baby with them or you have some emotional attachment with them this subtype of it, emotional sentiment this person you know have that you have with but this there is other side of the person that you can have some some brand new beginnings in your life but it's all up to you so i'm seeing two people are coming in your way sagittarius okay but you're getting the justice or maybe this could be a proposal coming in your way with the knight of cups and page of wands and wheel of fortune your your life will be changed this could be the same person by the way coming with the with the offer of proposal like they want to marry you if they never get married with you so yeah things can change wheel of fortune and justice is like change this is like these things mean to happen this this change need to be happen in your life this is really mean to be you can't control it it's a divine thing it's a divine timing and wheel of fortune and justice could be for some of you it's like a past karma or you have some past life connection with this person uh whoever is coming or you are dealing with vice versa you know better how you feel toward this person so we have romantic feelings so yeah uh, your feelings are real and worth exploring we have unrequited love yeah you deserve love this is definitely some of you this person is testing um you and that you're currently dealing with or you have with someone in your mind are you feeling weird you have to retreat or you are on the retreat you both are on retreat not contacting with each other so this is someone who is just making you realize and feel like you're unrequited love you're not worthy of love but don't forget you deserve love yeah heart to heart conversation is happening between you and this person uh, they want to express that how do they feel and calling in your soulmate some of you you're calling in your true soulmate you want to be with someone that you can have yeah express your love this is someone who wants to express their love to you heart to heart conversation is happening i feel this is that person they want to tell you how do they feel they want to express it they want to tell you maybe you you are also crushing on this person but you're confused and stuck in this situation right now this is like um, romantic feelings that you both have romantic feelings i feel this is like you're calling in your soulmate you 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 this is if this is someone new you're getting to know each other and you're praying and you you feel like you're compatible and you can be together if you're dating multiple peoples or you're just you know looking up who is the right person for you so because you have a choice and look at this keep an open mind yeah children this is someone that wow past life whoa 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 
this is someone that you have a children with or some type of matter of children between you and this person and past life connection this person keep coming towards you and you know pinching your sentiments because you have some, definitely some emotional attachment with this person children babies okay and keep an open mind they're coming back again but you have a choice honey you can't uh, you know do these things ever and ever again because they can left you again this unrequited love situation but i'm seeing there's someone here who want to express their feelings to you they're looking at you they're they're admiring you from afar um they are really attractive to you they want to get you know more closely we have the love and cupid zero yeah this is someone who's falling in love with you or this could be you you are falling in love with someone this is someone that you are keeping an eyes on so this is love is coming and Cupid Arrow is falling in love. Love is coming. Surprise. This is someone who will surprise you by their expression of love. And this is like a new initial stage to get to know each other. Like, you know that butterflies? We have separation and clock. Yeah. This is all happening on a divine timing. I told you we have the justice and wheel of fortune. It's only happen or happening on a clock and divine timing. If this is someone new is coming, it will happen on the divine timing. They may be going through separation if you're not going through that. Or this could be someone that you need to separate yourself to be with this new love. Or your person that you have been in separation with coming back to you with a new love offer. Just take what resonates with you because I'm picking a lot of things here for general peoples. Girl with the snake. So some of you dealing with a narcissistic person. You need to let go of narcissistic person. You know that. This person does not love you. There is unrequited love. And they are just. this is just attachment with this person. Please. Please let this uh, narcissistic person go from your life. So this is your reading. God bless you. Bye.